an outburst of bad behaviour from them, they might start trying to ravage the land, but they realise sooner or later, because he has all the food, they've got to start doing business with Alexius. He knows that and they know it too. In return for his promise to supply food, each of the three crusader leaders was forced to swear an oath of allegiance to the emperor. By that oath, they granted Alexius a commanding role over the whole campaign and vowed to return to his empire and the Eastern Orthodox Church any lands that they might win back from the Turks. The entire Crusader army was ferried across the Bosphorus by their new partners, the Byzantines. Soon they would be in enemy territory for the first time and this fragile alliance would be put to the test. With Constantinople behind them, the Crusaders still had over a thousand miles of hostile territory to cross before they reached Jerusalem. After only a few weeks, in May 1097, they reached the first enemy-held city. Nicaea, today known as Iznik, had once been a Byzantine city. But 20 years earlier, it had been seized by Turkish warlords and was now the fortress capital of the new sultan, Kilij Arslan. Over the northern hills is where the Crusader army came from. They marched down from Constantinople over the hills and fanned out round the city, clamping it in an iron siege. Finally the moment of conflict. And they must have been 